Hi there and welcome to another Criminoli video. Today I'm going to talk about this book, If It Bleeds by Stephen King. Obviously Stephen King casts a huge shadow over modern popular fiction um, and you know any, anyone looking at Bookstagram or Booktube will find tons of Stephen King videos. He's enormously popular and rightly so um, and he's also been a, a hugely important part of my reading life um, since I was a teenager so I think the first King book I read was Christine and I reckon that was in about 1985 when I was 12 or 13 so I've been reading him for a very long time and I've read most if not I haven't read all of his books but I've certainly read most of them. Um, I'm, I wouldn't call myself uh, an unabashed King fanboy I really really like many of his books but um, sometimes I think he goes on too long, uh, sometimes I think his books are less than perfect and If It Bleeds I think definitely falls into that less than perfect category for me. And it got me thinking about what's the right length for a Stephen King story for me. Um, and I think there's, you know, there's no right answer to that question. I like both his short fiction, so his, his short stories, I think he's a great short story writer. Um, he, his short stories have real punch. Um, and it's a, a, probably an underappreciated form um, in the modern world, but one he does really, really well. I particularly liked his recent story, Red Screen, that he did for Humble Bundle. Um, and I also like his really, really long books. So, you know, it's, it's hard to think about King without thinking about some of those doorstops he's published, like It and The Stand, um, which are absolutely massive, and I think they are... Um, it, truly immersive in a way that a, a really big book needs to be in order to work um, and it can be great fun you know giving up a, a few days or a week of your time to to really get into one of those huge books of his um, and I also like his his shorter novels so you know I'm, I'm a huge fan of The Shining probably my favourite King novel I really like Carrie as well I think that works very well so I do like his his books that are novel length um, but not absolutely massive um, which brings me to novellas and, and I think for me and obviously everyone's mileage will differ um, for me that's where he's least successful um, and I'll talk a bit more about that in my conclusions at the end of the video so getting on to the stories in this book then so the first one um, is Mr Harrigan's phone um, and this for me is kind of classic king um, so it's a it's about a young guy um, who uh, gets his first iPhone, so it's, it's kind of classic King book, but bought up to date. Um, he's done chores for a very rich man um, who subsequently dies, um, and he, he finds a, we say it, a supernatural link between them through, through his phone. Um, so that's, you know, kind of very traditional King themes, if you like. So there's a bit of coming, in, coming of age in there. Um, and there's this kind of idea of, of the haunted everyday object. So it's not a brilliant story, but it's certainly a fun one, um, and I quite enjoyed it. Um, the second one, and we're going to have to refer to the book, because I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, the second one is The Life of Chuck, uh, which I didn't get on with at all, if I'm honest. So it's a very strange story. It, it jumps about a lot through different kind of time periods. Um, it's very difficult to summarise and describe. It's very, very funny in part, so I quite liked seeing a bit of King's humour in it. Um, but for me, overall, it didn't work um, as a story, I'm afraid. Um, the third one is the title story, If It Bleeds, which is probably the one that's going to draw most readers to the book. Uh, and this is a, a Holly Gibney story. So for anyone who doesn't know, Holly Gibney is a character who appears in the Miss Mercedes trilogy, um, and also in The Outsider. Um, she's, a, a, I guess, kind of a private detective, one with lots of hang-ups um, and a kind of neurodiverse um, detective. So a really, really interesting character, very, very likeable, um, really fun to read. Um, my problem with the story is, which is, which is fun enough, and, and it's interesting because it, it has her in the lead role for the first time, so in the in the Miss Mercedes books and The Outsider, she's kind of been a, a supporting character rather than the lead. Um, so it's great to see her kind of front and centre. Um, but the actual story just didn't quite work for me. It feels very x files -y, so it, it has her investigating um, a, a series of kind of disasters um, and possible links to a reporter. There's no real depth to it is my problem. So Holly's still fantastic as a character. 
um, but it but it was a story that just didn't feel fully fledged or fully fleshed to me. Uh, and then the final story is Rat, which is probably my favourite, which is about a, a, a writer stuck in uh, kind of the, the, the snowy wilderness trying to write, um, who strikes up this strange relationship with a, with a rat in the shack that he's staying in. So again, really classic King themes there. So, you know, a kind of struggling writer and isolation as well. So isolation plays a, a huge part in a lot of his books. And you can certainly draw parallels between this and The Shining. You know, being being about a writer marooned in the snow, if you like. Um, it's a fun story. It's quite chilling. It, it certainly, as someone who's tried to to write myself in the past, it certainly rang true for me as a as a story about writing as well. Um, so that's kind of the the collection. So I guess you probably guessed my summary for this, and I, and I alluded to it at the start as well. So a bit of a mixed bag for me. I, I enjoyed most of well, I enjoyed all of the stories in some way but it doesn't feel like a great collection. Um, it hasn't got the punch of some of his short story collections where you've just got, you know, an Id a simple idea um, taken and developed into a, into a bite-sized story um, with a bit of punch. It feels to me, and this is, this is to get back to my first point about novellas being my least favourite um, length for him to write. These feel like stories that are, if they were short stories, um, could have had a lot of punch, but they're a bit longer than that. If they'd been developed, particularly the Holly Gibney one, if it please, if that had been developed into a full length novel, I think it would have had the richness that it needs to, to lift it up a bit and really work as a story. Um, but for me, they kind of fall between you know those two stools. So they're neither short and punchy enough to be a fun, twisty short story, and they're not developed enough and rich enough to be a, a kind of fully compelling novel. Um, so that's kind of my my take on the book. Um, I'm sure lots of people out there will differ. I know there's lots of King fans out there on BookTube. Um, so if you've got your own opinion, please uh, please put it in the comments. Let me know what you think of my thoughts and let me know what yours are. Um, as always, please like and subscribe to the channel uh, and let other people know about it if you think they'd like it too. Um, and do check out my, uh, my WordPress blog, criminoli.com, uh, where you can find a full review um, a full text review of If It Bleeds, um, along with dozens and dozens of other reviews uh, that you might enjoy. Anyway, till next time, thanks for listening, and I'll see you again soon.